if there's a second wave of the virus and everything has to shut down again, do you think the court system will be able to keep going now that everyone has gotten used to teleconferencing, et cetera? I, I do, and I've recently seen the plan put out by the, the federal courts across the United States, and, and they have a plan in place to get us back into court, whether it's this round of the coronavirus or even if, heaven forbid, there's another huge round, which we have seen some spikes in some areas here lately. So uh, what they're going to do is implement measures like plexiglass between jurors. They're going to have masks for everyone in the courtroom. They're going to have certain areas that attorneys can stand and areas that are forbidden. They're not going to allow you to go up and uh, crowd the witness and try and, you know, confront them with a document like they do in the movies. Mm -hmm. There are going to be a lot of safety measures put in place. Uh, and that's an old trick, by the way, that, that Tim and I like to do. But, but you're not going to be able to do it anymore. And you're going to have to stand at the podium at a safe social distance. And trials are going to look different than they used to, say, six months ago before the virus. Uh, so there is a plan in place. I think the federal system will probably get up and running a little sooner than the state system. Uh, they generally have more funds available, and that's that's probably why. Uh, Tim, what are you thinking, and what are your cases looking like that are set for trial? Well, you know, I think that uh, – obviously, I mean, I think the courts are going to do the best they can do to get these cases moving. I mean, obviously, what I'm seeing on on, on some of our cases is that the criminal dockets are, 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 are taking precedence based upon your rights to speedy trial. Uh, I do have a federal court case set in September that will, it'll be interesting to see whether it goes uh, because no matter what precautions are taken, if there is a true second wave, I mean, I, I think it's going to be very difficult for courts to be able to impanel jurors and get jurors to be willing to come and uh, serve based upon uh, their fear of maybe contracting disease or whether they have older, older relatives at home and multifactorial, I think, as to whether or not you, you'll, you'll get full venires uh, to show up for, for, for jury trials, I really think it's kind of up in the air right now. And, and, and I do believe the federal court system will get moving a, a, a little faster because of the resource issue. Oh, okay. One last thing, Tim, you know, they used to have about a 40 to 50% hit rate when they sent out those summonses. So 500 people might get you to 250, 240. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how many people show up when they get that summons. Cause I know they don't want it, but it's so yeah. important. If you had a case, you would want your peers to show up, and give you a fair trial. And that's really all that, that everybody is entitled to is a fair trial. Doesn't mean you win, but at least you get it heard. 